Hello people of the internet. Um, I dare not to call this part two in which I promise to show you a little bit how these things work but um, this will be let's say a part 1b because I was previously speculating that this one here which is a Fire Studio 2626 is capable of handling two eight channel ADAT units and I have one attached which is the D8 and now I have another one of these which is a Presonus. This is not a D8 but this is a Digimax 96K and the idea of this video is that I'm going to attach this and put it into the rack uh, and uh, connect up uh, the cables and then we'll see this time actually whether the Fire Studio 2626 is actually able to handle 24 input uh, uh, channels and output everything through a Linux computer via a Firewire cable and Firewire interface. Because as I stated in the first part of, of this video series was that uh, you, you cannot put stack two of these via Firewire. It is possible to daisy chain the, the Firewire units but, but using Linux it just doesn't work. And the simple reason is, I believe that uh, drivers that you would need are not in the level, at least concerning these Fire Studios, that it would work. So the workaround uh, to that is that since the Fire Studio 2626 has very good uh, input-output possibilities in the back of, of the unit, so I'm going to try to utilize it to the max and sort of, you know, crank this to the 11. So I will most likely come back when everything is screwed in and connected in and uh, I'm booting the iMac and the control software and then we'll see what happens. Oh, one other thing. Um, you can see here, actually, the power supply for the, for, for the new one is actually rather big and heavy and it uh, has uh, already, you can see these cooling units here, so this will need a little bit space. And so that is why I have to change into, I guess, a five unit, five unit track, but that's something to come. Okay, but now I'll wire this up and then, then I'll come back when uh, we're ready with the iMac. One other thing, actually, before I go wiring this, this uh, ADAT unit and this uh, uh, Firewire unit together, um, there are two cables that I need. One is a light pipe cable, this is the actual ADAT cable. Uh, and this is the optical cable. I couldn't find, this is a one meter long, it's uh, half to 50 centimeters would have been uh, quite sufficient, but uh, it's hard to find these and you know these are very cheap. I paid like three euros for this. Perhaps there is uh, one additional thing that I might mention about these 75 ohm and 50 ohm uh, uh, cables. Um, I'm not really sure into what are all the applications that the 75 ohm is used but the 50 ohm cables were used in the old uh, thin ethernet applications like uh, connecting computers into the internet those things went away about 20 years ago but but you can still perhaps find that and they look exactly like this stuff but but remember that it has to be 75 ohm, ohm. the 50 ohm ethernet stuff will not work and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch the power on and, and for that I have to go down here. Switch number one and that one was on. When this is blue and not red and not blinking, this is good. Now blue, steady blue light is good. So this one seems to be, at least based on what I see here, to be happy with the 96K and with the D8. and. Uh, uh, and this indicates that it's running on external clock and the sampling ratio is 48 kilohertz. Uh, and the uh, 96K it's using an external clock, that's why the red light is here. And it's also telling me that it's 48K sampling frequency. So everything seems to be in order here. I should have the universal control here because that's just about the only thing that I'm doing with this machine. So now that will boot up and that will take uh, that will take some time. Okay, so now I can see that this is uh, configured to 16 channels, while in reality we now do have 24. 
there are some hardware settings I think what we need to do here is enable the expanded mix mode ADAT2 and, and this is I think what we need to do now let's see if that had any effect on these on this outputs uh, not exactly but um, here because I was hoping to get like 24 channels here but like analog 8 at 1 and 8 at 2 but le let's see I have to I have to 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 f fiddle around here so what I did was I changed from the outputs and router which is in here I changed to the left one which is the mixer here and here I can see that we actually do have analog which is the fire studio and this would be the 8 at 1 and this would be the 8 at 2 I have a microphone here and it's now in the 2626 so I can verify that 1 1 1 1 so we have a signal uh, in here and now if we should have something on just about yeah here okay 1 1 2 2 so this will verify that uh, we actually have something on 8 at 1 so it, it is reading the signal so the firewire is actually carrying the signal to the computer uh, now if I change to another cable I actually okay here we go so eight at 2 uh, this little test tells me that uh, we have eight at 1 and eight at 2 working I don't know I mean the only thing that I, I was uh, expecting to see here was that uh, when I uh, put this one on I mean the expanded mix mode which is the eight at 2 and then I thought I would be doing something in here, but it seems I can't. But um, I, I, I wonder if it's giving me uh, 16 channels or, or 24 channels in, in Linux. I think we're, we're going to test that the next thing, because uh, this is not going to tell whether this works or not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut this down now, and I'm going to go to the Linux system and see if we have input in 24 channels. Howdy folks, it's a couple of days later and uh, I have the system now wired up and the hardware, uh, the Fire Studio and the ADAT seem to be happy together and the FireWire is connected now to my Linux workstation here uh, I'm running Ubuntu Studio here and uh, I think the most illustrative thing or at least one possibility to that is that I'm going to start a program here uh, which is going to be uh, uh, jack uh, jack audio connection kit this is like the input output output uh, sort of program that can handle inputs and out outputs in, in, in a Linux system now uh, this is the uh, messages or the output window of the jack and here is, is, the, is the program itself and uh, while the jack is now stopped um, what I can do is to I can I can start it, but what we'll do here is is let's see about the setup here, uh, because this is the only kind of interesting window here, and when we start Jack, it will output all the things that it's doing in here, and and in the rightmost window we, we here we can actually see how many uh, channels the the Jack is seeing, as the chain of uh, of. Uh, kind of uh, signal goes here my recording software my DAW my DAW is able to see the channels if Jack is able to see the channels and Jack is able to see the channels if the driver is able to see the channels so let's go see how this works this is the uh, settings uh, part of this and, and here we have driver which is ALSA okay let's let's give there are other possibilities. I could also use FireWire here, but um, using ALSA is, I think, pretty much equal to that. Uh, but uh, what is interesting here is, okay, sample rate is 44.1 kilohertz. Okay, let's leave it like that. And, you know, the frame size and the buffer. Mm, let's see what the hardware units are blinking. They are telling me that they are in 48 kilohertz. Uh, mode so okay let's put this to 48 then so that would be okay but what is interesting here is the advanced window okay let's go there um, there is uh, like haba baba baba here but the only thing that we need to actually worry about is uh, the output device and the input device and now let's see we have the fire studio here it's the 
This is the no normal the, the hardware, the PCH here, that's the sound card that is integrated into the computer. But what we are interested in is, is the Fire Studio here. So we'll take that as the output device and we'll also take the Fire uh, Studio uh, as the input device. Now, if I don't mess around with the channels, this will tell me how many input channels and how many output channels I want. Leaving it to default here, we'll open up a, a message here which says that maximum input audio hardware channels to allocate. So it will connect to all of the possible input channels that it can see. And, and this one is uh, the same for the output channels. Now I'm going to OK this from here. All right. Uh, and then what I need to do here is start the jack. So it will start probing, uh, you know, with the Firewire uh, driver what it can see. Let's see what happens here. Okay, it will take a few seconds and here we go. Okay, so folks, now at this point, I, I've been doing this uh, for a couple of times uh, before and I have some good news and some bad news for you. As you can see from here, there is all kinds of baba 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 here and yada 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 but you can see that there is system capture and you go from uh, basically ports 1 to 16 so it's only going to see 16 input channels and, and 16 uh, playback channels or output channels and that is it folks I was hoping that this would uh, have been 24 but it's not and, and actually the playback side as it says uh, uh, as there is a limitation as as we could see in the iMac software is that there should be only eight playback channels and 24 input channels but um, well the bad news is that Jack is not seeing but 16 input channels um, after that I uh, started wondering whether we could do something differently in the iMac but um, I was reading through the uh, this is the user <laughs> when when things go difficult that the last option is that you actually start reading manuals uh, and sure enough uh, uh, what we were doing in the uh, in the iMac was completely correct because this is page 26 of the manual and it, and it reads here that uh, the expanded mix mode uh, the ADAT2 allowing that will you know allow access to all 26 inputs this basically tells exactly what we saw. We have 24 input channels and only 8 output channels. And uh, the other thing is I started uh, wondering why didn't this uh, affect the, the, the routing window. But it, and it says here in the, in the bottom, it says, please note, ADA 2 outputs, Fire Studio output 17 to 24, can be directly accessed from your DAW application. No additional routing is available in the Fire Studio device window, so that's why we only got 16 channels. And the only only check that we can do is is uh, uh, the expanded ADAT mode. We can en enable this, but we can't do basically anything else there. 20, 17 to 24, uh, these input uh, outputs can be directly accessed from your DO application. Now, saying this is saying a lot, because what is not kind of stated here because it's obvious is that this manual is is uh, assuming that you are running either a, a Windows machine where you would have a Presonus like proprietary device driver and the same with the Mac but that is assuming a lot as I said earlier my recording software can see channels basically if Jack is able to see the channels and Jack is able to see channels only if the firewire driver is able to see the channels and it turns out that the firewire driver is not capable of seeing those uh, I do suspect that uh, that channels from 1 to 16 are kind of somehow follow some standard way of doing things in the driver level you know that it's easy to get this and this is very good and, and then uh, the thing is that if you want the 17 through 24 channels then the driver is asked to do something a little bit different in Windows or, or Mac computers and you know the Firewire driver is not able to do that a little bit something different.
and uh, well I have to point out also that what I tried more than this is just an example of what I show you here if I open the setup window again and we go to the advanced settings here I mean I tried to tell this that uh, you know get me 24 input channels and 8 output channels but if I do that it will just produce uh, a bunch of error messages here and the jack will not start and it seems to be that if I fiddle around here and try to do something you know special it, it will only create error messages so I think I have to conclude from this that I'm, I'm stuck with 16 channels uh, and well as the as the driver is what it is today I'm not able to uh, access all the 24 four channels uh, that's sort of the bad news the good news is uh, that I've tried the, the 96k and also the D8 and both and both of these units worked so if you have a Fire Studio 2626 you can buy either a D8 or you can buy a 96k and both will work and, and provide you with the with the extra eight channels but um, basically what I can conclude now is that my speculation in the in the first part of this video series uh, about being able to have 24 channels is as it is and based on my tests what I've done here and my understanding of these computers the speculation did not hold I mean I, it seems I'm stuck with 16 channels but as I said uh, in part 2 I will show you you know how I wire up these things in practice and and how I use uh, my digital audio workstation to record with the Linux system okay with that thank you folks and let's meet uh, in part two. Bye.